Hello friends, welcome to the fifth episode of Joomla 2.5 custom template development series. In the previous episode, we have learned how to create a module position as well as how to define our component area in our template and how to define the head section. So in this episode, we will apply these three things to our template. Okay, so if I visit our template, uh, look here. So let's create this module position first, menu. Okay, so go to this section so this um, area will be module position so remove this and uh, now jdoc include now what we want to include modules modules now what is the position name so this is like menu area okay like this you can give position one two now here I'm copy paste if you have any problem then uh, please write comment menu area this one um, menu bottom okay this one is the left panel so same thing uh, again I'm copy paste so left panel and this one right uh, so we don't need any module positions because we will display all the component um, component here so this will be a component panel in the footer we need another module position so here uh, footer above okay now here we will define the component area so jdoc include type component that's it we don't need to give any name now in the head sections we will remove our um, title and other things uh, and below this head here we will define this is our head area so that uh, Joomla can append um, like mirror title and uh, the other things CSS so let's start um, so jdoc include type head okay now we have defined our uh, component area our different module positions and uh, we have uh, defined our head section so now when we will um, install this template to Joomla the CSS path will not work because um, Joomla path is different because your template will locate under uh, inside the Joomla installation templates folder so your uh, this CSS path will be like this so let's say if you if your template name is um, my template okay now your CSS path will be uh, like uh, Joomla templates folder templates then my template then CSS slash default dot CSS okay so this will be fast so we need to modify our static um, path here so like by default Joomla will provide some variable so that we can make it so like uh, up to this path we can get from a variable called dollar this base URL sorry base uh, yeah base URL this one is the base URL so now um, if you want to include any CSS or JavaScript uh, you have to write like this so let me write one plain text to HTML link okay so here we have to give like this so PHP echo dollar this base URL so we have given base URL now close now after that base URL templates then we have to give our templates name so instead of giving our template name we can uh, give the Joomla variable that is echo dollar this template okay now slash CSS slash default dot CSS so in this way we will write CSS path as well as JavaScript path so script sorry So here also we will write like this so if our script is present 
like java inside js test app dot js so how you will write at first php echo dollar this base url okay now slash templates slash your template doll echo dollar this template okay now slash js slash test slash app dot js in this way you will mention your css as well as javascript path okay so let's uh, define this path or we can copy and paste these things well, let's define so that you can understand properly so here is the path so we will add the base url at first so php what is base url uh, let me explain so here you can see this um, domain name up to this point is the base url and after that we are giving the templates folder then we are um, giving our template name so why um, we will give uh, this one like dollar this template instead of giving our template name my tmpl so that in future if you change your template name then uh, this path will not work that's why we are giving the dynamic template name so that if you change your template folder name or anything then it will not affect okay so that is good idea use dollar this template so let's include this uh, base url so echo base url okay now after that slash templates slash we have to echo our template name because this css will be present inside our template so dollar this template that's it okay now one more thing like uh, so that uh, anybody uh, if I visit to this site okay now anybody can type like this templates slash my tmpl then index.html then our index.html will be display so we have to prevent this that uh, only Joomla can call our template okay so no, nobody can directly access so like those who watched uh, previous uh, module development tutorial they don't know so defined we have to check that uh, this template is called by Joomla or other so defined underscore j e x e c so if this is not defined then we'll say access deny okay so that's it so for now uh, this is enough for us later we will uh, uh, implement some configurations and also like language file and lot of things we can do um, with our template like module position override etc so um, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, in the next episode we will uh, create our installer file so that we can install in the Joomla. Thank you. Have a good day.